The sitcom Alice centered around the life of its titular character, portrayed by the talented Linda Lavin. One standout character in the show was Flo Castleberry, brought to life by the incomparable Polly Holiday. And behind the scenes, there was a surprising turn of events that drastically affected the course of the series. Stay tuned as Facts First presents why Flo left the Alice TV show and never returned. How Polly Became Flo Before we discuss her departure from Alice, we thought it would be beneficial to briefly fill you in on Polly Holiday's early life and rise to fame. Polly Dean Holiday, born July 2, 1937, in Jasper, Alabama, embarked on a relatively remarkable journey before she became widely known as the beloved Flo on Alice. She was the daughter of Ernest Holiday, a truck driver, and Velma Mabel. Initially, she pursued a career in music and education, teaching piano and music in elementary schools in Alabama. While she certainly had an ear for music and an aptitude for education, she also felt a strong calling for acting, prompting her to shift her focus. After considering her options and weighing them against her dreams, she made a bold move and relocated to Sarasota, Florida, where she joined the prestigious A Solo Repertory Company. As part of the largest repertory theater in the southeastern U.S., Holiday honed her craft and gained invaluable experience. Over the course of a decade, she established an impressive repertoire of stage performances, showcasing her talent and versatility. With her passion and dedication fueling her ambitions, Holiday set her sights on the vibrant theater scene in New York City. It was there she began to make her mark, securing roles in various stage productions. One notable achievement was her involvement in the 1974 Broadway hit All Over Town, which further solidified her reputation as a talented actress. During this time, Holiday formed a close friendship with renowned actor and director Dustin Hoffman, who recognized her talent and potential. Thanks to his support, Holiday landed a small yet memorable role as Ned Beatty's resilient and tough-minded secretary in the critically acclaimed 1976 film All the President's Men. This pivotal moment on the big screen contributed to shaping Holiday's on-screen persona as a woman of remarkable presence. And it was her remarkable talent and magnetic screen presence that ultimately led to one of the most cherished sitcoms of the 1970s, Alice. With her endearing portrayal of Flo, the no-nonsense and quick-witted waitress, Holiday enchanted audiences and became an integral part of the show's initial success. Flo's Farewell Flo's departure from Alice occurred in the series' fourth season. The specific episode that marked her exit is titled Flo's Farewell. It aired February 24, 1980. In the episode, the storyline revolved around Flo's decision to leave Mel's place to pursue new opportunities. The departure of Flo was explained in the episode as her receiving a job offer to be the head hostess at a high-class restaurant in Houston. This unanticipated opportunity compelled her to bid farewell to her colleagues and the regular customers at Mel's place. The remainder of this emotional episode focused on the bittersweet moments shared between Flo and the other characters as they expressed their love and appreciation for her. While she expressed her intention to take the job in Houston, Flo ultimately wound up getting sidetracked and instead opened up her own establishment. This premise ended up serving as the premise for the short-lived spin-off series aptly titled Flo. Flo Floundered Flo, the Alice spin-off sitcom, featured Polly in its lead role. Premiering March 24, 1980, the series, generally speaking, enjoyed success, consistently ranking in the top 20 throughout its run. But despite that fact, it was ultimately unceremoniously canceled at the end of its second season on July 2, 1981. The plot of the spinoff revolved around Flo's post-departure from Mel's Diner. After leaving her job as a waitress, she embarked on a new adventure as a restaurant hostess in Houston. But on her way, she stopped in her hometown of Cowtown, Texas, and impulsively purchased a run-down old roadhouse that held nostalgic memories for her. Renaming it Flo's Yellow Rose, she set out to restore the establishment to its former glory. The series showcased Flo's efforts to manage the business, which came with its fair share of challenges. The conflicts she encountered included dealing with a chauvinistic bartender named Earl, portrayed by Jeffrey Lewis, and an obnoxious banker named Farley, played by Jim B. Baker, who held the mortgage. Additionally, Flo faced thorny family dynamics, contending with her burdensome mother Velma, portrayed by Sudie Bond, 
and her straight-laced sister Fran, portrayed by Lucy Lee Flippin. Flo's yellow rose also had a colorful staff. Her childhood best friend Miriam, played by Joyce Boulefant, served as a waitress and bookkeeper. The chain-smoking piano player, Les, was portrayed by Stephen Keep. Other recurring characters included Randy, the mechanic from the adjacent garage, played by Leo Burmester, and Chester, a regular customer, played by Mickey Jones. While the spinoff initially found success as a mid-season replacement, airing on Monday nights in March and April of 1980, it gradually faced challenges. The show's time slot was moved several times upon its return in the fall of 1980, leading to declining ratings. Ultimately, Flo concluded its run after 29 episodes. Despite the cancellation, Flo's character never returned to Alice except for the use of her image in old clips featured in the series finale. The spin-off showcased Polly Holiday's talent and the popularity of her character, but various factors, including the time slot changes and declining ratings, contributed to the show's ultimate discontinuation. Holiday moved on. After leaving Alice, Polly Holiday continued on with her acting career. And as we mentioned, she didn't return to the show and was briefly replaced by Diane Ladd as Flo, followed by Celia Weston in the role. In the early 80s, Holiday made two brief returns to series work. She was cast as a replacement for Eileen Brennan on CBS's Private Benjamin in 1981 after Brennan suffered a severe car accident. Unfortunately, the show was canceled before Holiday could film more than three episodes. Holiday also starred as a tough but fair prison guard in the ABC sitcom adaptation of Stir Crazy, which aired from 1985 to 86 and was based on the 1980 comedy film starring Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. But that show, too, was discontinued after only four months. While successful television roles post-Alice seemed to keep eluding her, Holiday found greater success as a character actress in feature films, where she showcased her talent in various roles. She notably portrayed the mean-spirited Mrs. Deagle in the 1984 film Gremlins, a role that saw her meet a fittingly nasty fate. She also drew laughs as Sally Field's nosy neighbor in the 1993 comedy hit Mrs. Doubtfire. She portrayed Jo Beth Williams' Southern Mother on the 1995 CBS series The Client, and she played the head of a summer camp in the 1998 remake of The Parent Trap starring Lindsay Lohan. And she appeared as Patricia Richardson's mother on the popular ABC sitcom Home Improvement. Aside from her television and film work, Holiday found a home on stage. She frequently portrayed impressive matriarchs and formidable women of a certain age. Holiday notably appeared in a 1986 revival of Arsenic and Old Lace, playing one of the murderous yet kind-hearted Brewster sisters. Her performance as Big Mama in a 1990 production of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof earned her a Tony nomination. She also participated in significant productions, such as the 1994 revival of Picnic and The Time of the Cuckoo at the Lincoln Center in 2000. Holiday's talent also extended to public speaking engagements and guest lectures for acting students across the country. More recently, in 2010, she returned to Dramatic Fair, portraying the fiercely loyal grandmother of CIA operative Valerie Plame, played by Naomi Watts, in the film Fair Game. Now aged 85, Holiday seems to have finally retired from acting. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your fondest memory of Flo's character in Alice? Let us know in the comments section below.